ladies and gentlemen, our next round brings us three rounds of MMA action is sponsored by Speak the Truth. Introducing and first fighting out of the red corner. Under victory in mixed martial arts, straight by Charles Rabbit and Anthony Snowball. He's wearing black trunks. Please give it up for Mark Milo. And his opponent, introducing and fighting out of the blue corner. He is with Shaolin Self-Defense Center, straight by Steve Castelli. He's also wearing black trunks. Give it up, Mike Cayoso. All right, we're getting it going. Here we go. We got Milo and Kyozo. Sounds like a song. It, it sounds does. like a great TV show. It really does. Right? <laughs> like it's like a band. Yeah. They should get together I'd after this. I'd buy tickets. At, yeah, after this. However the fight goes, start a band. Yeah. yeah or right a TV after. show. I hope they're friends after this. And here we go, touching gloves. Milo's in the red, Kyozo's in the blue. Both fighters kind of feeling each All other right. out, throwing some. Uh, so now, this is what we were talking about before. They're wearing the shin guards. Yeah, so it's so a there's novice no, fight. Yep. There's no ground and pound to the head. This is an MMA fight, so it's three by three. Three minute, three rounds. Oh, oh no. Nice takedown. Nice. There go. Nice blast double. You wouldn't know. You, you see, can't pick that out right. Yeah, he, he just went flying in for it. It was kind of All right. telegraphed, but he still got it. And right now he's got the Better head. than I could have done. <laughs> Let's just be yeah, honest. All my, all my take look like a crash dummy. I look, <laughs> I look like a stick figure <laughs> because I'm so lanky. <laughs> and that, like, I try to, like, do, like, a single leg, and it just, it's like, crash, crash. A single leg's a tough takedown in MMA. It's Kyozo's uh, nice body right. lock to a drop. It's Kyozo with another takedown, and he holds the bat. I mean, Milo, excuse me, Milo. With the takedown and the drop. Fans are going crazy for this fight. Well, it was like a long intermission, then a quick fight, and now they got some action. Yeah, now yeah, we're up and going. Definitely built up some intensity for yeah. sure. As you can see, Milo's got the hook on the outside leg of Kyozo. Yes. Here we I go. Go here. her. I don't even know where she came from. From the background. <laughs> Someone Look. from the background, very distinct. Yes. I'm a fan. I want to find him. Because Milo's really working right now. As you know, you can't throw any punches to the head. So he's just working the hands. And you're allowed to punch the body. He's ground and pound yeah. to the body. Resisting that urge to punch to the face must be absolutely oh, torturous. I, yeah, I, can I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle it. He's, doing he's a trying job. to break him down, though. He's doing yeah. a good job. Yeah, he's doing a good job Both working guys on the are hand doing control. A good job, though. Look, is showing some strength right he now. He is. Absolutely. He's no trying. hand control, and he's bucking Milo off. Although Milo's doing a good it job just, with the hip control. Yeah, when you're right there up against a cage like that, though, it sometimes doesn't work to your advantage. Sometimes it does. Right now, a little cradle action. You, hey, let's go with that. Ooh, a little elbow backwards. you got to be careful I mean, with that. He was blocking, in my personal defense, he was blocking a body shot. Okay. I don't think it was an up elbow. It, it, yeah, it I, did I, look I, like that, looked, but that's how yeah. I would block just a body yeah. shot. And right now, Kyle's right? reaching yeah. back, and if any wrestling coach would tell yeah. you never to do that, I don't know what jujitsu coaches. I've tell never, you. I've never been proficient in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm subpar in jujitsu. <laughs> I actually wrestled in high school with your uh, teammate right now, Chris Wade. Chris Wade. I mean, he's Chris Wade tried to give me wrestling lessons. Not his fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not his fault. The outcome. He was he was a going. phenomenal high school wrestler. Oh yeah, you, now he's you still a phenomenal wrestler. with him on the same team or against him. No, uh, same school. team. He was a year younger than I was. He went to Shawinigan as well. I didn't. No, know. I didn't go to Shawinigan. I went to Ice. Oh, high you're school. a Shawinigan fan. That's I nice. know. I coached there. Ah. Yeah, I coached at Shawinigan, and we were, we're playing. Like, he went yeah. to Ice. And we're playing your high school this weekend. Yes, we are. Go Friars. As we're gonna fry them. Oh, are you? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm like, um, my high school wasn't good at sports. <laughs> Just the sports I was in. <laughs> All right, we're on to round two. Yeah. Yeah, round two of the second MMA fight of the evening. Longest fight of the evening, I think. <laughs> that you? I mean, yeah. She said that wasn't me. I, I'm not saying you that was me. That was not I shady. Can't, I can't tell who's who. No, I was just laughing. I'm like, it wasn't me. 
Nice right right there by, oh, nice right all by right, right. Milo. Milo right there is another takedown. Good job holding the legs after the takedown. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you leaves are on top and you're in this position, what are your coaches talking to you about? I'm not often in that position. <laughs> I know, yeah, you don't do much <laughs> MMA anymore. I've done it, but even when I was in MMA, I was never, I was rarely in that position. Yeah, you were a big takedown lady, huh? I like being in guard. I like having people in my guard. Okay. What I'm about still you? too much of a baby. baby. In my, my, not, not in terms of weakness, but baby in terms of being too green. Your experience. Yes. Now, just like, I don't know what it's called yet. Yes. I was like, well, no. <laughs> but but I mean, yeah. I just. Yeah. Have you started I would not be those? able to advise anyone from this position. <laughs> Have you been starting to make take those classes and start oh, to make yeah, that transition? Oh, yeah. Things are coming together a little bit by, by a bit. Milo's doing a good job standing standing up and throwing some punches to Better the body. Better watch his leaving his arms out. That's the only thing I would say, because that's the only thing I go for, his arms. The arms. You know an arm bar from every place. Every place. Every which way. Do you? Every which yes, way. Yes, she does. Yes. I can get an arm bar from the back. So right now, that. Milo's in the position you would want him in. Yeah. Not so much an MMA, I guess, just because, you know, if you have an active puncher like that. But, like, yes, that's what, but that's where I would like to be. I love that they're hooking their toes in there. How does that even happen? I don't know, but the uh, referee's <laughs> doing a good job not allowing Melina, it. Yeah, Melina is on top of it for sure. I sometimes also don't think it's on purpose. No, it just no, kind of like, happens I mean, naturally. The way their your toes, toes like, yeah, they, they curl. Kinda, like, those, curl little, over. those little piglets get wrapped around <laughs> that cage. Mini piggies. But Milo's all over uh, he is. his opponent right now, not letting him to breathe. Domination as of right just, now. Yeah, awkwardness. Kyozo right. needs to get that leg out and get his hips up. Oh. There's a Milo right there. He's got to get his hips a little low. Yeah, yeah, it looked why. deep, but it wasn't deep enough. See? You're right, though. Yeah, get those hips back, right? His hips were a little high for that. I mean, it was a good transition, but they were just up a little beyond his hips. Good balance right there by Milo's. Kyozo's trying to take him down with a single. Yeah, I mean, Milo's been doing well on the ground. Another big takedown against the cage. I he would um, love to see Mike stand up a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. But I feel like his striking is pretty legit, so I would like yeah. to see him on his feet. Yeah. Milo keeps taking him down, but I would like to see yeah. him stand up a little. Ten-second warning. This is round two, right? Yes. Round two. All right. Big round for Milo again. All right, guys, you know what do we think so far? Honestly, like that round was, first round, I definitely think Milo had it. He got yeah. the takedown. Yeah. He can retain control. Not saying that I think he, um, that um, Mike Kyozo? got, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, uh, the blue corner. Not that I think he won that round, but he definitely fought tremendously better. He improved, definitely. He definitely improved. He avoided the, the submission attempt right there, got back to his feet a couple times, landed a few strikes, but he did get taken down and held down and allowed a handful of strikes throughout the fight. So it is tough for your when He's you're doing well. He's yeah. doing well. Definitely. He's doing better. So, so when you're in this position, what are your coaches saying to you? Keep like if doing you're my well, I mean, there's definitely, obviously, we're amateur fighters, so... They're amateur fighters. There's always rooms for them to improve. Definitely. So there's always there's probably four things that he missed that we all missed too. That he yeah. could have probably finished that fight. Agreed. Especially when it comes to jujitsu and things like that. You go touching gloves. Round three starting. All right, here we go. Last one. Thanks. I would like to see them stand up a little bit more. Yeah, a little more striking. So I'd have a couple more things to say. Kyozo had a couple good. Uh, <laughs> he did, but every time he throws that leg kick, he, gets he grabs he gets it. Gets trapped in it. Every single time. Nice takedown again with he's the double. He's doing a decent job of blocking. Get that leg back. Oh, and he's got that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If it seems tight right now. I can't really. I'm I, not going to say because last time I said no, he, the other guy tapped. It seems tight, <laughs> but I don't think he's on the right side. I don't think he is either, but again, not the biggest jujitsu critic. Looks good from here, though. <laughs> <laughs> and Milo gets he's his head out. out. Back on top. As the, under, uh, the man underneath. Kyozo is... Uh, yeah, he's in a bad position here. Yeah, he's throwing a lot from the bottom, but that, those he's aren't gotta. effective. You got to do something. You got to keep busy. And again, that's where the, the cage comes into play a lot right here. 
Yes. There's nothing worse than being like, oh, I got this big cage up against me. I can't go where I normally would go. Right like, now, do what I normally would do. Milo looks like he's working for a Kimura. He's looking for some kind of shoulder lock. There he you goes, go. He's out to the side, right where he wants guard. to be. He's still got to get, like, spread his knees out. There he goes, like, a little bit. He's got to get his hips a little bit lower. Get, get on like, his toes, bring it. his hips down. Yeah. I mean, he's getting there. He's almost there now. I think it's the hips bring the pressure in, right? Brings when bring the pressure, and then you can't pass. Or These are the few things I do know. <laughs> <laughs> so good defense right there by Kyozo. He's doing a good job, I mean, but he's still on his back. Agreed. He's doing a good job of defending, but he needs to stand up. Exactly. Push off, stand up. All right, he's trying. I mean, I don't know what he's Kyozo got there. Kyozo tried to hit him with the scissor. <laughs> Scissor sweep real is real. And it works. Oh, I, know. I don't know I, if I he meant he was scissor in his head. I knew what you meant. <laughs> oh, he's going oh. for a heel lock. That's what it looked like for a second. He was going for it. Although I thought that was the illegal really in for a amateur second, MMA, but I could be wrong. What? The heel lock I know is illegal in certain states in amateur, but it depends on where you are, obviously. Maybe it is, and that could have been why you let go. Yeah. Maybe he was like, oh, I can't do this because <laughs> I've been there. I know. I'm sure Kelly's been there. Well, I'm sure when it's going yeah. through your mind, you're just grabbing things. You're just going. To work. Sure. That's why I said I, w I, I'm a, I would be afraid to kickbox in a cage because, like, I fought MMA in a cage. And I'd be afraid to, like, go for a double leg or something. <laughs> or just pull guard because <laughs> I do that. And again, Mike has improved in this round, but I still, I still don't I have think to give he's it. done Absolutely. enough. Absolutely. Although it's he's about enough. to stand back up. Milo's trying to get the single. He's got way more takedowns and way more um, yeah. control. Yeah, on he the just, yeah, he just controlled him throughout the whole fight. So I would say Milo three rounds. I would have to concur, but I've seen crazier. Hey, we've uh, seen crazy things happen yeah. tonight, so who knows? Kelly, how do you see it going? I think definitely Milo. I mean, he had most of the pressure the whole time. I mean, it was pretty visible. Yeah, under the new rules at MMA, pressure is definitely uh, sure. one of the factors in scoring. Yeah. Definitely a good fight, though. Absolutely. Yeah. And maybe they'll make a band after this. Yeah. Maybe they'll be or a TV show. I hope so. That, that definitely. I mean, they, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, Milo and Kazoo. Yeah. I almost want to say, but that's not right. <laughs> Iozo. I'm Could getting in Chow trouble Ozo, for this. Right? How do you say Chow? In, how do you spell it in Italian? C oh, C there's I an O. Oh. Yeah, there's an O. Oh, oh, it's an O. All right. Wait, let me see. I flipped it over. Where are they? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, no. It's yeah. Oh, 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 look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's exactly how it's spelled. Here's the official decision by the radio. Ladies and gentlemen, answer. please give up your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner. Mark Milo. Milo gets the victory, unanimous decision.